back to City 7 News. Dubai airports crossed the 4 million passenger mark for the first time last month. Statistics released today show that a total of 4,307,926 passengers travelled through the airport in July. This marks a 14.3% increase over the 3.7 million travellers who used the airport in July last year. This year, the traffic has reached over 26.8 million. The highest passenger volumes were recorded in the Western European sector, the AGCC and the Indian subcontinent, driven by capacity increases and new routes launched by Emirates to Tokyo, Amsterdam, Prague and Madrid. 10,000 patients sit on the wait list for two new diabetes clinics that have opened in Abu Dhabi. With a staggering one in four UAE residents diagnosed with the lifestyle disease, the UAE has the second highest rate of diabetes in the world. Unfortunately, the care has not progressed to meet the crisis, leaving most patients stuck with insufficient guidance. Tariq Gamal Eldin has gone through his share of doctors since finding out he was diagnosed with diabetes. Unfortunately, the medical professionals he consulted rarely had time to teach him about his illness or ensure he was seeing proper specialists outside the office. Now, at the new Al Noor Hospital Diabetes Clinic, he meets with 12 different care providers in one visit to ensure his needs are met. This uh, journey was uh, better than before because uh, since I came, uh, I met the ambassador. Uh, the ambassador take me uh, everywhere to, to the uh, lab, to the nurse, then to the doctor. Then I met the educator. She also explained uh, me uh, many things. Tarek isn't the only one receiving such individualized treatment. All patients are hand-walked through each phase of their treatment, from eye exams with an ophthalmologist to nutrition planning with a dietitian. Physicians, they are busy, they might get, forget some part or another. For example, I see that many of my patients are not seeing an eye doctor since diagnosis, and then we discover the complications late in the eyes. If you discover it early, you can prevent the complication. Well, that's better. Uh, they do, don't have time to examine the feet. Uh, they don't have enough time to give enough education about the diet, which is very important. You know, diabetes is a chronic disease. Uh, it requires a lot of education on the part of the patient because he is the major party taking care of himself, uh, so we try to educate him to run the show. The approach is practiced across the world, and now more and more clinics in the UAE are being encouraged to offer such treatments. The demand is very high, there's no doubt about it, um, and the number of centers which provide such care, in reality there are very few, if, if, if any, so we hope that once that model took on and show the success that other care providers will take suit and work together. Because at the end of the day, as I said, we are fighting not only diabetes, we have to remember this. Diabetes is a spectrum of illnesses, comes under what's called metabolic syndrome, which include the high blood pressure, the obesity, the high lipid, and also other problems related to this. It's a spectrum of things. And once you fight one part of it, you find that you are tackling the other party into it as well. So yes, the answer is we do need to provide more centers of this capacity. The two Alnor clinics have been swamped with patients since they opened two months ago. The popular response suggests that the growing diabetic population in the UAE is in need of more properly developed care facilities. Although the government and non-profit organizations have launched many awareness and free diagnosis programs, it appears that preventative education is not enough. Purpose-driven clinics whose sole focus is diabetes care will help ensure those diagnosed know how to manage their illness. Carmel Dimici, City 7 News. The Roads and Transport Authority raised 12 million dirhams by selling 92 number plates at its 68th auction. 120 bidders participated in the auction. Numbers such as G58, H91, J333 and I786 attracted the highest bids. Piling work has been completed on the Louvre Abu Dhabi project on Saadiyat Island. According to Abu Dhabi's tourism development and investment company, the UAE branch of the famous French art gallery is on schedule for completion in 2013. 
The next key milestone will be the development of the substructure beginning in the last quarter of this year. Sadiat Island covers 27 square kilometers and its development will be completed by 2020. More than 145,000 people are expected to live on the island upon completion. And finally, here's a look at the weather forecast for tomorrow. That brings us to the end of the bulletin. As always, please feel free to get in touch with us at news at city7tv.com or you can call us on 04-367-2254. You can also watch our evening bulletins anytime on city7tv.com and do join the City 7 News Facebook page. From the news team, it's bye for now.